Uh, you did not get a, the final or a semifinal, uh, but you do get the United States men's national team um, on June 12th. They're going to play in Seattle. No, on June 19th, they're going to play in Seattle. On June 12th, they're going to play in Los Angeles. And on June 25th, they're going to play in Los Angeles. I don't know if they announced uh, Mexico where they're going to be playing or Canada where they're going to be playing. Uh, the West, um, those are those are the areas that I'm uh, looking uh, forward to going. I was looking for my pointer. And uh, I'm out here in Hawaii. So if I get the opportunity to go to any games, once again, it's not this summer. It's not next summer. It's two years from this summer. It's 2026. So uh, the West Coast is Vancouver, Seattle, Los Angeles, and um, San Francisco Bay Area. So any of those, I would love to go to Vancouver. There's going to be eight matches in Vancouver. Um, Dallas has the most matches at nine. Uh, but there are eight matches in Vancouver. And that's one of the smallest arenas there's going to be as well in Vancouver. Um, let's see. So it was a surprise when FIFA announced the quarterfinals uh, will be held in Kansas City and Los Angeles. That's the latest they get in the state in the, the tournament. Los Angeles gets a quarterfinal at one of the newest, greatest stadiums in the United States in Los Angeles, they, they only get a quarterfinal. Kansas City gets a quarterfinal. Um, Dallas at Jerry World, they didn't get the final like was expected, but they got the semifinal. And Atlanta as well gets a semifinal. That's better than a quarterfinal. If you're not a sports fan, a semifinal would be the final four teams. So there's only two semifinals. 